You're all loaded up, Chef Edward, sir. Ready to go. Thank you, Thomas. Here, for later. It's elderberry pie. Oh, thank you, Chef Edward. Oh, my gosh, is that... Chef Edward's elderberry pie? Give me some of that. I love your casserole, Chef Edward. Hello, Chef Edward. You're the greatest, Mr. Dufresne. What's cooking tonight, Chef Edward? We love you, Chef Edward. We can't wait to see what you'll cook tonight, Chef Dufle. Freddy, it sure was nice of your uncle to invite us to stay at his inn. I can't wait to see what he's done with the place. It's been in the family for generations. According to Old Newport Cove by Henry Metcalf, the Rocky Harbor Inn has been vacant since 1780 when the original owner disappeared under mysterious circumstances. Oh man, I wish we could go one weekend without mysterious circumstances and disappearing acts. Are you with me, Scoob? Like speaking of disappearing acts, Scooby-Doo, where are you? The only thing disappearing around here is our lunch. Well, that's just great, Scoob. Now we're all gonna starve. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, gang. I'm sure my Uncle Bobby won't let us go hungry. Oh, can he cook? The Rocky Harbor Culinary Resort? We'll take that as a yes! Hey, Uncle Bobby. This is the gang. Gang? This is my uncle, Bobby Flay. <laughs> Culinary resort, of course. Exactly the kind of place you'd expect to find a world-famous chef. World famous? Don't tell us you've never heard of Bobby Flay. Of course I have. He's my uncle I just introduced you. Chef Bobby Flay? I bet hey. you can cook just about anything. Well, I, I wouldn't say that. Lamb chops? Well, uh, yes, I can cook lamb chops. Herb crusted? Yeah, I can do herb crusted. With a balsamic Ooh. reduction served on a silky smooth red <sighs> Norlin puree? <laughs> well, sure, I'd probably swap the potatoes for a creamy garlic parmesan 
or a Chef Noir polenta, or even a simple warm heirloom tomato vinaigrette. <laughs> he must have fainted. Should I get some smelling salts? No, he'll just eat them. <laughs> Lobster. Oh, sorry, no, that's, that's nachos. I'm sorry, Uncle B, but I think Scoob and I know the difference between lobsters and nachos. Lobster nachos? Like yum! Write that down! No, sorry, I mean this lobster belongs to Nacho. Nacho Flay, my cat. And for the record, those are grilled blue lobster tails drizzled with lemon basil butter and garlic chives. I can make some for you guys, or anything you want, really. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think they like it here. Come on, gang. The whole North Wing, including this lobby, is a faithful recreation of the 18th Century Inn. So the old inn was closed down during the American Revolution? Yep, and since then, it's been completely vacant. Except for the occasional spider. Spider? <laughs> All right, if there are no more questions, let's move uh, on to the- I, uh, I have a question. What is it, Shaggy? Can you make Beef Wellington? I meant questions about the inn. All right, okay. Well, uh, Beef Wellington's a complex and time-consuming dish to prepare, but yeah, I've made it. Sorry, I meant, will you make Beef Wellington? Like right now. Shaggy. What? We don't hang around a lot of chefs. I want to make sure we get our money's worth. We're not paying any money. Good idea. Listen, pal, we're not paying until we see the Beef Wellington. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Whose portrait is this? That's the original owner, our great, 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 let's just say really great Uncle Chef Edward Dufle. Chef? You mean it runs in the family? From what I've read, people around here still call him the world's first celebrity chef. Has the restoration of the inn yielded any clues about Uncle Edward's disappearance? We hope, but so far, not a thing. <laughs> Thank you. Why do you call it a culinary resort? The answer, Daphne, is just through these doors. It's time to check out the really cool stuff. This is where the magic happens. Welcome to the cooking arena. Jeepers. Whoa. Nirvana. Yeah. So the Rocky Harbor isn't just an inn. It's a... A state-of-the-art kitchen fantasy camp designed to make cooking easy and fun. Like, dude, who said that? That's the interactive computer program that keeps everything in the place running. Thanks, Rocky. You're very welcome, Bobby. In here, guests can experiment with their own recipes or learn techniques from some of my pals. Oh, man. Is that Jada De Laurentiis? Oh! Yup, and the lovely Bella De Laurentiis. And those are Chef Marcus Samuelson and his supermodel wife, Maya Hiley. Hey, Shaggy, didn't you meet them once? Yeah. It was the best day of my life. So, uh, Maya, I've read that at home. Your roles are reversed. <laughs> it's true. He's the chef. Yet, I do all the cooking at home. But I do all the supermodeling at home, so it evens out. Next. Hey there. Who should we sign this out to? Wait, this is not our book. It's Giada's book? Really? Could you have her make it out to Shaggy with love? 
Shaggy.